Hi, I'm Ira Goldberg, and I'm a citizen of Beverly Hills, just like anyone else that may be watching. But I'm here to talk about community access. That's Channel 3 BHTV, how it got here. I mean, we're here, and perhaps some of you have seen some of the uh, good programming that we've had. But uh, how did we get here? Well, about uh, three years ago, uh, when the city of Beverly Hills made a uh, franchise agreement with Century Cable, part of that agreement was that Century Cable would provide us with the funds to equip this studio. And the funding for our everyday operation comes uh, from the uh, franchise fee, the yearly franchise free fee that uh, 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 Century Cable pays the city. So uh, nobody's reaching into anybody's uh, pockets to uh, present uh, community access. But what is community access, really? And why is it here? And what are we trying to do? Well, my guest on this special program of community access, why, what, here, how, and where, is Roger Martin, who's the program director at BHTV. And uh, Roger, you're going to uh, try to fill us in a little bit on what's been happening here in the last six months, isn't it? Uh, yes, in the last six to nine months, so much has happened as far as, uh, well, once the, uh, the administrative uh, aspect of uh, development of uh, BHTV has, uh, that phase has passed through, we're going into our programming. So on June 18th of this year, uh, indeed, we started on the air in the evening, Monday through Friday, with uh, our programs, which were produced uh, here at our television facility. Well, in the uh, six months that you've been on then, what uh, type of programs have uh, come through the airwaves or have been beamed through our airwaves? Well, the beaming in Beverly Hills has uh, been afforded by uh, programs of the uh, discussion uh, nature, uh, what they call uh, interview shows, perhaps somewhat like this. Uh, but we've had uh, outside programs as well, uh, programs produced uh, not through a facility, but provided to us. That has uh, accommodated a lot of our airtime, mm. perhaps a ratio of maybe uh, three to two, three to one. But uh, here uh, we had persons and producers such as Ann Palmer producing her sh uh, show, a premiere show on Channel 3, uh, Janet Snow and her Health Watch program, uh, they developed a series of programs. Well, I would think one of the uh, big problems we have actually, and it's no reason not to uh, face it or talk about it, is the uh, problem we have getting people to reevaluate and take a look at uh, BHTV Channel 3, and that's partly because of uh, the uh, impression that most people unfortunately have, but uh, perhaps there's a grain of truth to it, uh, uh, that uh, there's a lot of uh, mediocrity, to be kind, uh, that comes over uh, Channel 3. So they'll uh, flip right by uh, Channel 2. Uh, the, they'll go from 2 to 4 to 5, and they'll go right up the scale. I think you can go up to uh, 99 here on yeah, at least. Century Cable. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, Channel 3 doesn't stand much of a chance unless we can actually uh, increase the public's awareness of us being here. And uh, how would you think we can, uh, we can do that, Roger? Well, as, uh, as something that's very much in our favor, if, if you think about it, the uh, viewers in Beverly Hills, for the most part, probably have a VCR machine at home. And if they have it connected up, uh, they're defaulting to Channel 3. So right away, we have that opportunity for a lot of people to know that we are here, at least on the air, and what we do with our uh, facility here is what we want to discuss today, but they are aware of Channel 3 being on the air. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't turn on the set usually without going from 2 to 4 to 7, so you'll pass by 3 and at least they know that we're here. And we're here to answer questions as to, as to why and what's being done on it. Well, but you know, the average viewer is uh, very uh, fickle, and uh, if they don't like what they see right away, they're not really going to come back. So we're fighting an uphill battle here mm -hmm. with uh, the viewers. Uh, there's only so many viewers, uh, and there's all these channels. <coughs> but the idea, the idea of community access is to uh, get the community, people in the community, and uh, uh, groups to communicate with each other. That's why all this money is being spent, uh, has been spent, and that's really why we're here. 
to get the uh, people in the community to to use the facility, you know? And, and, you know, people really are interested in their community. They haven't always had that opportunity to see it specifically uh, on their television. Anytime they might hear about Beverly Hills or see something that happened in Beverly Hills on the news, your ears are going to uh, perk up. But here we have the opportunity to uh, go in and around the city. Uh, if you think about it, if you're sitting uh, at home watching uh, television, if you see Beverly Hills or you see a building nearby you or something that's familiar to you, you're going to watch that, whether it's interesting or not. Say, gee, don't I know? I was just down there. That's right down the block from me. People like that. And people should know that this is their community television station, and we are here to serve them and by, and by providing our facilities so that they can produce their programs and put over their ideas, we would be fulfilling that. Well, it's no secret that uh, people who have uh, little to do uh, are the ones that you're going to that have been here. They would have the advantage. That's they have true. the advantage, mm -hmm. and their messages. Uh, and this may earn me no uh, great uh, compliment among some of the uh, producers, but frankly, their messages are uh, pretty simple and not the kind of thing that would really uh, attract the viewers that we and the people, the, the potential producers that we want to get in here to balance off that programming, you know, to say and do what it is. Uh, this is all about. And the main reason for spending all of the money, even though it is first come, first served, how do we, Roger, how do we get the uh, uh, public awareness to the point where they come in and use the facility? This is a, this is a public relations effort that must be put out by uh, BHTV to show to more people in the community that this facility is available and for those people who are tied up uh, a little bit in their time uh, to set aside that time uh, for something that is really important. Uh, this is a, a very valuable and unique uh, position that we're uh, offering to anybody in Beverly Hills. All you have to do is live or work in Beverly Hills to use our facilities. Uh, we, we offer courses and, and video production. Uh, we first or put you through an orientation class so that uh, as a producer you'd be familiar with uh, with our operation and then we have field training classes we have equipment that which we loan to people to go out in the field and make their own programs we want people to be aware of that but those busy people you know uh, they're the ones uh, doesn't it become a little intimidating for them or uh, lose interest become a negative factor if they know they have to come up here and learn how to run one of these very intimidating uh, uh, CGs and all of the wonderful equipment that we do have. Can they come in, sit down like we are right now, and uh, get that message across that they uh, spend so much time during the day uh, uh, doing, you know? How do we get them in here uh, to do that? And can we get them in here without uh, them becoming involved technically? You know, it's kind of scary, all of this stuff, and it. People yes, uh, people, well, f one way would be for a person uh, uh, to make themselves available to someone who is already a producer here, or perhaps uh, to inquire as to someone uh, else wanting uh, to sponsor them. So it is not that difficult for someone to do that. We have programs here which uh, do need uh, uh, guests, for, uh, an interesting guests for their interviews. Uh, another aspect of this is that there is a lot of talent and a lot of production skills and money involved. Uh, in the community of Beverly Hills alone, and we would like to see these people coming to us and using our facilities to put on their uh, entertainment or in informational uh, projects. That's a, that is another good point. I think what makes uh, BHTV unique in its uh, in its field is that we cater. Our marketplace has a lot of creative people here. Beverly okay. Hills is a very unique marketplace, and uh, we recognize that it is a unique community. And this community, uh, uh, hopefully, will join with us in uh, in providing uh, all the w what a scope of uh, opportunity we have uh, for so many concepts and ideas. People are probably sitting home thinking, "Gee, right now, what kind of show would I put on?" Or, or you know, it might be a good idea to. Uh, to voice this uh, concept. Remember that plan we had? Uh, this would be the opportunity. Remember, this is not an expense to the community. We don't make any profit here. This is a nonprofit organization. 
the only thing we would be charging for is for our uh, production or field uh, workshops, but being on the air through Channel 3 in Beverly Hills uh, is of no cost. Well, that's true. It doesn't cost anybody really anything other than uh, the tape stock and uh, mm -hmm. the time that they want to put in. And it's uh, an excellent opportunity to get a message across. Now, those messages really don't have to be historic, no. you know, because uh, uh, that may put a lot of people off. There can be messages that uh, people create, and mm -hmm. it's really a, a means of self-expression. Uh, so there's a balance here in the purpose of, of community access. Uh, Incidentally, while we're on the subject, what is the difference between community access and public access in your view? Well, community access television is for strictly the community that you're serving. Public access could be your community or many communities. So that would be the, the division uh, in that concept. And so uh, our facility here, uh, Beverly Hills TV, uh, mm -hmm. BHTV Channel 3, is a community-orientated station. That's right, the community of Beverly Hills. And it's that community that, getting back to what I was talking about before, uh, uh, may feel a little put off because uh, they, they don't have, perhaps, all that, if we can touch on the people that don't have all of those important things to say, but still want to uh, express themselves creatively, uh, it can be done, and I think we have a uh, sample, a couple of samples here, of the type of uh, programming that uh, BHTV or any community access uh, station would uh, like to show. And it can be done by anybody, and I think we can roll that first uh, piece of tape there. I hope everybody's in uh, control up there, and we can see the first one, which is called uh, Merry Christmas, Beverly Hills. In a one-horse sleigh All the fields we go And we're laughing all the way Oh, now the bells on the bobtail ring And they're making spirits bright What fun it is to ride Sing a slaying song tonight. Ja, 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 ja. What a beautiful day for a ride in the sleigh. Gotta get underway. Ja, 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 ja. Shay. Shay? C H E Z? C H E A. Shay. Well, hello, Shay. Happy, uh, merry, uh, and, and season's greetings to you, Shay. <laughs> so long. Bye. Fun it is to ride and sing a slaying song tonight. Ja, 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 ja. What a beautiful day for a ride in the sleigh. Gotta get underway. Ja, 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 ja. Good time pick pick a slick little chick and you figure the click. Ja, 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 ja. You're a slap happy pair like a square at a fair. Leave your cares and jingle all the way. Jingle bell, 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 j
Well, that was a <coughs> well. There was a sample of uh, well. I guess you'd call it a piece of fluff, and it's not uh, perhaps too much different from some of the uh, uh, things that you've seen on national television dealing with uh, Rodeo Drive. It's kind of kind of local, and it was really just uh, impressions of Christmas on Rodeo Drive. But if you uh, looked there very carefully, you would have seen uh, some changes taking place. But before we get to the changes, because that's the serious part of what uh, we, do, we can do and that people can do, producers can do, we have another bit of uh, tape that deals with, it takes us 3,000 miles away uh, to New York. And there's enough New Yorkers around uh, Beverly Hills to uh, recognize some of the uh, big buildings and uh, bridges and, uh, and also recognize that it's perhaps just something done in a humorous vein. But again, it helps you with uh, the type of creativity. You express your creativity, even if that creativity happens to be mine. Let's uh, roll it. <laughs> Well, you see, uh, I can't claim that there's great uh, literary uh, social significance uh, to these pieces, but uh, it illustrates the point. 
But uh, on a much more serious note, uh, and the kind of balance that we're looking for here, and hope that we can uh, get from you, the potential uh, producers, is the next uh, piece of tape, which deals with uh, a much more serious subject and is much closer to home. And that's right here in Beverly Hills. Let's see that. Beverly Hills is a study in contrasts. Here, both the old and new stand side by side. Until, sooner or later, the wrecker's ball tilts the balance toward progress. In any city or community, it's generally the citizens that determine the makeup of their commercial district. The success of most businesses are dependent upon how well they satisfy the residents' needs. Some Beverly Hills residents feel very strongly about these changes that directly affect their lives. I have been living in Beverly Hills since um, 1957, and I feel very bad that there are so many empty stores. And some of those, most of those stores served us very well, and uh, all the nice owners are leaving because of the exorbitant rents, which was a very sad statement, because those stores were like institutions. And I'm sorry to see particularly this one leave because of the high rent. Well, there's much more to that story. That just uh, was a piece of what the uh, Beverly Hills Historical Society is working on as part of their uh, uh, series inside Beverly Hills and it deals with uh, the changes and those changes having worked on that program uh, for the last couple of months those changes have affected almost everybody here uh, in Beverly Hills whether they're a resident or a business. I'm looking forward to seeing that series myself. And uh, it's really the type of balance the type of well, the type of balance that we're looking for uh -huh. uh, Roger and it's really why BHTV was created because there are these important issues. There are these issues that uh, that never really get in front of the public, except maybe at a Tuesday evening session uh, uh, with the uh, the uh, city council, you know. And uh, so much perhaps can be avoided if people can uh, come up here and uh, and talk about what's happening. It can be very helpful. And that's why we were created. And let's talk a little bit about when we were created and how we were created. Well, it was, it was a birth of a, of a total facility here. I, I would like everyone to know that we have state-of-the-art equipment. We have, right now in the studio, we have three, uh, three color cameras and we even have a teleprompter. We have a master control, we have a studio control, we have three edit bays, full office administrative facilities. Uh, we have everything that uh, a nice-sized television station could offer. And it didn't just uh, get here. Uh, uh, the Beverly Hills Community Access Corporation, which was created uh, by the city, uh, is a nonprofit uh, organization that's uh, really uh, uh, created BHTV and uh, this facility. And uh, it's people, but you can have the best uh, equipment in the world, you know. You can have, doesn't matter, it's the people that made it happen, you know. And we have had the best people uh, that have made we it have happen. We have a great deal of enthusiastic people. People are uh, standing uh, in a, uh, on a waiting list to uh, go through our orientation, and they're being processed, and, and they're being uh, taught how to run our facilities and being able to produce their own shows. In fact, you don't even have to produce a show if you want to just be on the crew. If you uh, think you'd like to run a television camera, you can come in. We give a proficiency test. and. Uh, and away you go. Well, what is the staff now made up of? Uh, well, the staff uh, is... What do they do? The, well, the staff is uh, comprised of three individuals. We have an executive director. We have uh, our 
uh, studio manager, uh, Gary Campbell, and myself. Mm -hmm. But our executive director, Lauren Goldfarb, really deserves a, a great deal of credit for uh, bringing all these this facility together, the physical uh, setup here, but there was nothing here before. No, that's right. I was and there here. There was a lot of hard work involved in that, as you know. That, uh, I was here watching her. Uh, uh -huh. She was here working on this uh, place, and uh, no one would recognize it. Uh, a in total the change. Uh -huh. There is a piece of video too that uh, we'll we'll put together to show just how it did develop. But uh, again, it's people, and uh, it's people that we really want to come up here and uh, become acquainted. After all, this is your station, and it is a station. It's right here at uh, Beverly Hills High School, and um, uh, it's yours. So what else can I uh, tell you except that uh, uh, if you don't use it, if we can't uh, get people, let's use a positive, shall we? Oh, I, <laughs> the definitely. The positive, they tell me never uh -huh. use negatives. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the positive is, uh, Roger, that uh, it's a team effort. It's not just a matter of the uh, staff, uh, but it's a question of you know, the uh, producers and the members of the board of directors to uh, really spread the message and get people to come. So we want to thank you for joining us. Uh, that's our program for tonight and uh, stay tuned to BHTV.